Hello, this is a follow-up from the last video on view settings in Bdographer. And this is really quick. I just wanted to show you four hotkeys which are really useful for toggling between views as you're working on a project. So, four letters to remember. Q, U, X, G. Q, U, X, G. You'll forget them, practice, and you'll remember. So Q turns on the bead symbols. I hit Q again, and they turn off. As I mentioned in the last video, you have to set the bead symbols before they'll show up. And I'll do a whole nother video about palettes and how to set palettes up. But just quickly, since we're on this topic, if you go over here and hold shift down while you click on a color, a swatch menu comes up. And this is one way you can set the symbol. There are other ways, but I can set it to anything I like. So. Q will turn it on and off. U, if you hit U, it toggles excess canvas on and off. If I hit X, it renders them into simple blocks and takes away the bead texture. Now the texture is on, now the texture is off. And you can see that when they're rendered as simple blocks, you can see the letters more clearly. So if you're generating a color chart, this is generally what I choose to do. And then the last one is G and that turns the grid lines on and off. So you can use this in any combination. And so if I want the canvas and the grid lines, if I want them rendered as blocks like this, you can just go back and forth between them. And you can toggle between them as you're working. on Like that, now I'll add a few more beads. Now I'll take the canvas away, just like that, you see? So again, Q toggles the bead symbols, U toggles the canvas, X toggles the simple blocks, and G toggles the grid lines. Good luck!